at school, I talk too much. <laughs> my first relationship was? Um, <laughs> my first rela- I'm going to be safe here too. Um, <laughs> my first relationship was probably with the ocean. I don't like talking about. Um, oh, nothing really. I'll talk about anything. <laughs> I have an opinion on most things, so. <laughs> my mother always told me. Um, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. I wish I had. I wish I had. Fins? <laughs> I wish I hadn't. I wish I hadn't gotten a perm in 1990. <laughs> <laughs> and I have curly hair too, you'll notice. <laughs> My most humiliating moment was? Um, yeah, I've probably got a... <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got a few of those too, but um, actually it was probably just a couple of months ago I um, fell off my bike at a set of traffic lights in front of a group of people. At home I cook. Um, at home I cook really good chicken schnitzel. My last meal would be? Oh, that's, well, I couldn't pick one. It would either be sushi or fish and chips. I'm very bad at. I'm very bad at keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> When I was a child, I wanted to be a marine biologist. The book that changed my life was? The book that changed my life would probably have to be Dr. Seuss. And you can probably guess it's one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. <laughs> it's not fashionable, but... It's not fashionable, but I love tracksuit pants. <laughs> Friends say I am. Friends say I'm very loyal. Does someone play at my funeral is? Oh, it would have to be anything by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. My greatest fear Um, <laughs> this is really gross, but other people's toenails. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> the last big belly laugh I had was? Oh, that was easy. That's watching my 20-month-old nephew dance. What I don't feel amusing is? Um, greed and probably also ego. I've always been asked about fish. <laughs> can I dog and why? Um, I'd have to say dog too. It's because of their unconditional love. My favourite work on art is. I have a, a friend who's a very good artist, and his name's Adam Hill. And I purchased one of his works at his first uh, exhibition. My worst job was. Oh, that's easy. Working at a service station while I was putting myself through university. I often wonder. I often wonder what the world would be like if everybody had empathy. We're often being asked actually what a fish is because there's so many common names which are, have caused so many problems in the animal kingdom. For example, jellyfish, starfish, cuttlefish, all these fish names which aren't actually fish. So if you ever really want to know what a fish is, it has a backbone, so it's vertebrate, and it has gills, so it extracts oxygen from the water and it has fins and it often has scales but none of those are always the case there's always exceptions to the rule in nature so some fish can actually breathe using lungs like the Queensland lungfish if they have to some fish don't even have scales so like some deep sea anglers and Do you enjoy your work? I love my job, yes I think we can tell, can't we? <laughs> A friend of ours that was working at the museum, a colleague from Japan, he discovered a new species of fish in Sydney Harbour and that was in 2002 when it's a scorpion fish, sort of like a rock cod, only a really small, really small fish and there's only two of them that have been found so far so I reckon that's pretty cool. What is the absolute weirdest and luckiest thing you've done because of your job? <laughs> oh, that's easy too. <laughs> um, part of what I do is work on the behaviour of fish larvae which are the babies so when you know most adult reef fish um, when they reproduce they um, spawn eggs and they're fertilized and they're fertilized you know hundreds of kilometers often out at sea and so what we try and do is work out how when the fish hatch out at sea how they get back to a reef to call that home so what we do is we go out and catch um, larval fish so they're between one and two centimeters long and we put them in a bucket and we take them out often two or three nautical miles off the coast um, 
we put our scuba gear on, we get one fish in a little container and we take it down to 10 metres and we follow one little one centimetre fish around for 10 minutes to see what it does. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we've had a couple. <laughs> so we're out in blue water, so we're often over about 40, 50 metres depth, so it's just blue. And um, we've had a, a few sharks come out and check us out, see what's happening. But we had one shark that was, we are up off in the Coral Sea, up on Queensland and he sort of swam up and had a look and swam away but then he came back with his pectorals down and his back arched which is a very aggressive sign so we as quick as we could got out of the water so. but he was just warning us he didn't want to hurt us I'm sure <laughs> I've been really lucky I've done a lot of really cool field work with the museum um, Lizard Island which is the very northern Great Barrier Reef is amazing because you're right next to the outer barrier reef which is pristine coral reef and you've got, you know, you've got 6,000 different species of fish out there so it's absolutely amazing. But we've also done some research in Taiwan which was really interesting too. Yeah, it's just passion and just hang in there because it took me a really long time to get a job. I started volunteering and I was around, hanging around for two years before I sort of really got any paid work. So.